Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. It's time for a November day in the life in the kitchen and it's collaboration with Deborah from Deborah's Delicious Dishes, Dana from the Shorty Tall family and Hayley from Mummy Cooks Homemade. So I'll have all their details in the description box below and please go over and check out their channels and tell them I sent you over. And for anyone who has come over from their channels, you're very welcome to my channel. And I hope you enjoy this video. And today's video also includes, as part of the collaboration, a kids baking activity, a Halloween kids baking activity. So I really hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will chat to you later on. Welcome back to Kids in the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making fairy cakes. And first you will need 100 grams and butter softened. Then you will need 100 grams of caster sugar. Then you will need 100 grams flour, one to two teaspoons baking powder, two eggs, about one tablespoon water. So let's get started. to weigh 100 grams of caster sugar. I'm going to do the butter now. It's a way. Ugh. You get off? Okay. Got it? Nearly. Oops, I actually need 150 grams of salt. So I'm just going to do how much is that? 24. It's not near to 50. That'll do. Perfect. The two eggs. Got a shell. Oh, I got a shell. I'm gonna do the next egg. Now I'm going to mix the two eggs together. <laughs> Where? Oh, there! I got it! Right? Now I'm going to mix this butter and this sugar in this bowl. Stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna mix them until they're soft and creamy. I wonder if they're soft and creamy enough. Oh yeah, I think it is. Now I'm going to add the egg mixture a little bit at a time. Last lot of the egg mixture. 
Oh, I do. Take these out. Now we're going to fold in the flower. Slowly. This is how you sell flowers. The reason to fold the flower is to get lost air into the mixture. Now we're going to add in some chocolate chips to make these chocolate chip cream cakes. It's optional. I can't wait to see what they turn out like, and I think they'll be delicious. Go. Preheat your oven to 180 Celsius, 250 Fahrenheit, gas mat or gas mat for. Put the tray in the oven for about 15 minutes. When they are ready, they should be golden brown and a springy to touch. Bye. See you later when they come out of the oven. We're really happy how they turned out. I can't wait to try them. They look delicious. Delicious, delicious. But we can't eat them yet, Rachel. So we have to, mommy. We have to decorate them like mummies. Thank you to the kids for absolutely wonderful baking. And today's dinner was quiche Lorraine from Super Value, which was on offer. Some mixed salad. I'm using up some tomatoes that my friend Patsy gave me as well. And we had some coleslaw and there was a small little bit of leftover veggie curry from the day before that myself and my husband used up. There's my salad dressing that I have in a video from a long time ago. If you want to look it up, it's absolutely delicious. So I want to thank you all for joining me today in my kitchen. Also, a 
Big thank you to Debra from Debra's Delicious Dishes, Dana from the Shorty Toll family, and Haley from Mummy Cooks Home Med. Three wonderful ladies, and I would highly recommend you go over and check out their channels. And again, if you've come from their channels, thank you so much for popping over and coming to visit me in my kitchen. The day ended with cleaning up the kitchen, and then when the kids were all gone to bed and myself and my husband were relaxing, we decided to have an end of October treat. We had our nachos, our cheesy nachos with holiday sauce. Actually, sorry. Yeah, it is holiday sauce. No, Thousand Island sauce. I have this in a video from previous uh, times as well. Um, so for November, because we are Catholic, we try to cut back on a lot of treats in November and offer up uh, November for the Holy Souls in Purgatory. So towards the end of October, we do have a few treats and this is one of them. And we had a little drop of Guinness to go with it, just to wash it down because we give up alcohol as well for November for the Holy Souls. And there's the day done. Kitchen cleaned, everyone in bed and time to relax. And thank you all again for joining me and God bless you all. And happy Halloween.